kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, we are going to continue. And so, in this video, we are going to start working, and we have to create the class fragment video player. So, for this, first of all, here you can see we have the video fragment, and inside this we have the activity video detail, and it is showing error because we don't have this fragment video player. So, for this, inside go to a fragment package, create new Java class, and here we have to write fragment video player. All right, then after we have come here inside our fragment video player, then we have to extend it with youtube player spot fragment and we then we have to implement it with youtube player dot on initialized listener all right then it will say us that we have to implement some method so these two method on initialization success and on initialization failure so we have these two methods here and then we can say okay so first of all we have to create an interface so for this we can say private or i think the interface will be public so we can say public interface and there we can say on video play listener okay then inside this interface we have to specify a method it will be public oh sorry it will be void on playing and in here we have to pass on the video id all right so we have this interface then we have we can use use the set on video on video play this then but we don't need it okay then finally again we can say string video id we have it and then we can create an empty constructor for the fragment video player so it will be empty all right so after this what we are going to do is then we first of all have to uh, override a method on create so here we can override the method on create then inside this we have to receive the video id so there first of all we can check if the video id we, if we can receive the video id inside this bundle or not so if we can check so here we can say if sorry we can say final bundle arguments equal to get arguments okay so it will show us error don't worry about it then here we can check if bundle is not equal to null and bundle dot contains key and here we can say key video id so for the key video id uh, here we can say key video id so if it contains the id then we can simply say video id equal to bundle dot get string and here we can say key video id okay uh, and then else inside this we can simply say video id equal to arguments dot get string and here we can also say key video id all right so that and then after this we have to initialize the in we have to create, use the initialize method of this youtube player api so there first of all we have to specify the api key so for this we can say my constant dot api key and then we can simply pass this as the own initialized listener then we have to specify a method public void set video id and in here we have to receive the final string m video id then here we can say video id equal to m video id then finally we can say initialize and similarly my constant dot api key and this all right then here we have to go to our own initialization success method here we have to check if video id is not equal to null suppose if the video is already being played or if 
B, then here we can say YouTube player dot play, then else here we can say YouTube player dot load video, and here we have to pass on the video ID here. Alright, so and then after this else, now we can again check if on, uh, if on video play listener is not equal to null sorry I, what I have done and here it is showing me error because on video play listener ok I think I did not create the object of this on, on video play listener so here we can say on video play listener on video play listener so then here we can simply say if on video play listener is not equal to null then we can say on video play listener dot on playing and here we have to pass on the video id alright and then here inside our own initialization failure we can check if youtube initialization result dot is user recoverable error if it is the recovery then we can say youtube initialization result dot get error dialog here we have to pass on get activity and then we can pass on the recovery request or I mean one and then we can simply say dot show it's still showing us error so we will remove it yeah. later then we can override on save instance state then here we can say bundle dot put string and here we can pass on e video id and then we can pass on the video id here all right so there we have these two errors which we have to remove so for this also you will see that we will be not be able to okay so there fragment fragment video player so it, you can see that it is showing us error so we have to remove it so how can we remove it first of all here inside if we have to change this youtube player support fragment so for this you just have to go to google and you just have to write youtube player support fragment x okay then after this you can you will be able to see mp uh, underscore project so you have to open it and we have to create a new class and then we will just have to copy everything all right so for this first of all we have to write on compact middle stages then middle packages then here we can write uh, i think here here we can say new package and the package will, will be com dot this one will be google and then we will have another package android then we have another package youtube then we will have another one as player and here we have this player all right then inside this we, uh, player we have to create a new java class and it will be youtube player support fragment x okay then we have this fragment x then here we have to just copy everything so for example let's just i import all the you can say the imports we have the imports again and then we can say extend sorry extend fragment so we have to use it and then we can simply just we need to copy everything so there we have to copy and paste it here alright so there we can see we have this youtube player support fragment x and there you can see we have some error so we will resolve that <coughs> so 
so there we only have these errors <coughs> so i will just copy it oh, sorry i will copy it and i will paste it here then you can see this error has been re uh, resolved this one again and also this one and finally we have to copy it and paste it here so there you can see now all the errors have been resolved okay then if we close it and here if we open it so we have to use youtube player support segment x and there you can see all the errors have been removed all right guys so now what we can do everything is set up and okay so also all the things have been there so let's just i connect my phone with my laptop and i open sightseeing so that you can see my phone screen so that i show you the output so let's see what are the issues which we have uh, let's see how many errors we received so let's see so there we have the site sync and i have opened the site sync also here <coughs> and there you can see we have this and now let's run our application on samsung galaxy c7 and let's see how it works <coughs> it is taking uh, a bit of time so we have to wait <coughs> sorry guys uh, i am having a bad cough and flu and uh, i am not feeling well so that's why so you have to bear this so i am just running the application and so that i show you the output of our current work so it's taking a bit of time so just we have to wait okay so now the application is going to install and yes you can see we have this uh, all the videos here and if i click on any of the video so there now you can see our application has stopped so let's see how where is the problem so there we can just write exception and here the error is here so let's see what is the error okay so it it cannot find this fragment video player uh, video id error insulating class fragment okay so let's see how can we remove this issue where is the let me write compact middle packages and here i think it is it should be fine fragment video play let me just write now i think all this issue will not be there so let's just see how it works so i already have so if i click on this again the and we have the issue because it is not we are not able to uh, uh, attempt to murder uh, that string and also we have the error insulating class fragment okay so i think we have to check which is the what is the issue so fragment video player i think if we have this set video id 
I think this is the issue here initialization video id let's see what we are receiving video id let me open the adapter so that i check video id video title and okay so i will just uh, have let me see and uh, debug the code so here if we open it again and now I debug it so that I know what is the problem then here we, how it goes so if I click on it okay so it is the XML issue which we are going which we are facing so let me see what is the code Okay, if I just copy it so that I paste it in my this one, so fragment YouTube and okay, so it is the fragment YouTube. So let's just run it again, but I think it is the problem with this name one com dot YouTube dot YouTube tutorial dot fragment segment video player so if i click on any of the video first and it we are still having this issue so in the my next part of the video i will solve this error so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye